Well, people usually associate polka music with an older crowd, but one man is bringing the genre to a new generation. Our own Sherelle Moore tells us about pint-sized polkas for this week's In Focus. There was a polka party down in Park Rapids today. And the audience was filled with our youngest generation. I had always played for church festivals for years in the Milwaukee area, and I had seen, you know, kids' reactions to polka music, and it was, you know, I always had a good, good response. But uh, to do the the children's program and then, you know, see the way kids react, uh, like here in Park Rapids today, it's been uh, just a lot of fun, and, and I, I really think they're they're enjoying it. Mike got the idea of pint-sized polkas from his wife back in 2008. Since then, he's been traveling all over the country with his accordion, making kids smile by playing classics like the Hokey Pokey, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, and the chicken dance. The chicken dance? Oh, that was really, really oh, yeah. fun. Here we go. Chicken. The Park Rapids Library had featured the pint-sized polkas program before. They say it was an easy decision to bring it back as a way to help spread some more culture in the area. Especially when we live in a rural area, everybody doesn't get the opportunity to see a lot of music or theater or, you know, meet authors. Some things that are maybe a little more accessible in bigger areas. So as a library, one of our goals is education and also we want people to just learn about culture and the arts. The parents get to play along with the kids. Some say they like that it's something you don't hear every day. I thought it was a great way to introduce kids to a variety of different music instead of just what's on the radio. And as for Mike, he's just happy to share his passion with the types. They love it. Uh, it's been, uh, it's exceeded my expectations by uh, 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 exponential number. Reporting in Park Rapids with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.